Right, I'm uh, under the bonnet of the Discovery today. Um, now you might notice there's a spot of oil there, under there, um, down the front of the engine. Um, there's a bit over there. But you might notice, you might be able to see what the problem is. It's not fresh oil, it's been baked on over the years obviously. It's probably, the back one's probably the same, but I can't be bothered to take that one off. That's right at the back over there. Um, but you might better see what the problem was. This little blanking plate thingy for the uh, for the cam. Um, it's obviously flapping about and letting a bit of oil out. I'm hoping that I'll be able to pop it out and stick a new one in. Because in my pocket we have a new one. Um, it's a brick part one, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure it'll fit. I'm sure everything will be hunky dory. I don't know why they put a plastic blanking plate on it, but they do for some reason. So I'm gonna, I think I'll undo those two bolts there so I can move that bit of wiring loom out of the way. And then I should be able to pop that out and put this new one on. I hope. Well, it can't be that hard, can it? <laughs> Let's find out. Well, got that bit of wiring loom out of the way. Then all I'd done was got my screwdriver there, prized the cap off, and there we got it. There's the old cap. Not quite sure why it come loose, but you can just about see in there that it's not there's no there's no rubbish in there, no dirt in there, which is always a good sign. You can see the timing chain in there actually. Oh, that might be why they put a plastic cover on there. I didn't think about that actually. So to set the timing up, all you got to do is uh, take the plastic cover off and you can do the timing probably. I don't know. I've never timed up this engine before, thank God. I don't like timing. Uh, it's not a big thing of mine, timing. But it's one of the reasons why I went for the chain. I, mean, I went for a car with a time and chain rather than a be cam belt. I don't like um, belts for chains. It's like my van. That's got the two litre engine in it with the time and chain rather than the time in um, the 1.9 litre has got the cam belt and this one's got cam chain so I always go for chains if I can. The Focus has got a belt but there's nothing I can do about that. So anyway, let's, um, let's see what we've got here. With any luck, this will be the right one, and uh, it will fit straight in. I'm going to have to open it up with two hands. This, by the way, for anyone that's thinking of changing their little cap for some reason, maybe the same reason as mine, it's flapping about. This was like $4.99 from 4x4 Island, if I remember correctly. Um, the back one is a different one, though. The one at the back is different. So you have to get a front and a back one, so make sure you choose the front one if you're doing the front one on the back one, if you're, choosing the, if you're doing the back one. Um, they look near enough the same to me, so we might be well away with that one. See how easy, it, how easily it goes back in. I wonder if it's got little... I wonder if it goes in the same way. Now I'm going to have to try not to drop it. I'll do it two hands and I'll film it after. Well, I had to take the fan guard off because um, I had to get the hammer in there um, it's a very tight fit with a new one a very very tight fit I had to put a bit of oil around the seal around that rubber ring seal put a bit of oil around it and then get it in evenly keep tapping it top right bottom left top right bottom left and then eventually after about five minutes of hitting it around in the circle kept going in and in and in and now it's all the way fully in and it's nice and secure now so that's all right then um, I did notice though on this little sensor here this little plug sensor I moved the wire and a little bit of cooling come out so I'm a bit uh, whether that's on its way out or not it's about to snap or something's gonna happen here so I'm gonna start it up and see what happens hopefully it don't leak I don't know why the cooling would have come out it's obviously a leak there, but I wonder if I've broken something. 
it wouldn't surprise me. I always break something when I'm trying to fix something. So, let's have a look. Well, it's been running for a little while now. Ain't nothing come out of there. That looks alright. 